Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. The weekend has finally come, the kids are no longer at school, my wife's off, well she's off from Friday night through till Monday morning, and it's always relaxing a Saturday for me. I really enjoy Saturdays, I enjoy it, we go out for a coffee and we just spend time together and just try and not worry about anything else. Now, I'm going to be using a silk that cropped up on Instagram yesterday through a grooming department, and it is basic. A little bit that's straight and now that's straight. But this is just basically a straight up pine scent, wood scent. But it's really nice. It smells like freshly cut sawdust, you know. It's not something everyone's going to enjoy because it's got to be something that you've had experience in your life where wood shavings and things like that give you memories. This brings back memories of working with my dad as a joiner for years and years when I was a kid. So I'm going to dump out the water. I've had it soaking for a very short time, probably about two minutes but that scent is spot on now this is a vegetal base I believe let me just double check I'm pretty sure this is the vegetal base yes it is so there is the ingredients there if you want to pause that and have a little look or I'll just hold it up for a little bit longer than normal now grooming department do have quite a lot of ingredients in the soaps but it's a very high performing quality slick dense it's a great soap and it works very well great post shave not really many bad things or any bad things I could say about it in all honesty. The bloke that runs it, I think it's Mohammed, that owns and operates grooming department. Really nice guy, very knowledgeable and, and more than happy to answer questions. If you send him a message through Instagram or any Facebook or any other medium email, he will get back to you and give you the answers that you're looking for. It's a very highly sought after brand. I think they're quite hard to get hold of. I'm not sure whether that's still the case. Uh, similar to sort of mammoth soaps and there's a, there's a few others out there, Declaration Grooming. Now, I'm not sure on the cost of his soap at the moment. I can't imagine it would be super cheap, but I can't imagine it's going to be up in the, the realms of $30 like Holy Cow is at the moment. The brush, I finally back round to the rotation, is my, that Dan Rob. Beautiful purple and aqua and green shimmer brush with a 28mm rhodium knot hand tied by Surjan over in the Australian Capital Territory in Australia. Obviously the hairs aren't Australian because you can't get them in Australia. But it's a beautiful knot, it's really dense, it's really soft tipped, has loads of scrub, great feel. And here we go, let's just load up. I'm not going to rinse the tub out after this because I'm doing a face shave afterwards. Now, my face shave is going to be a, well, it's almost a non-existent face shave. As you can see, I don't have a whole heap of growth. I've got about 16 or 17 hours, I think, something like that. Right, that's all I need. I don't need any more than that. Very quick load. Let's wipe the head. Just had a shower, so probably about half an hour ago. But it's not really a prep for a shave. A prep for a shave via a shower would be jumping out the shower straight away and shaving while your hair is still sort of soft and hydrated. And it does actually work. It does actually soften up your hair, especially on your head. Such a nice scent, it really is. It's a great scent strength as well. Out of the tub, it's a good six or seven scent strength, and it really fills up the bathroom. The scent as you continue to lather it, right? I'm just going to create a little hole in the brush, like so, and then just drop some water in. Now, one thing I enjoy very much with vegetal bases or vegan bases, depending on who it's from. It's the ease of lather. I find vegetal bases just to lather up so much quicker than tallow bases in general. They become denser quicker. They don't aerate quite as much in the beginning. So as you can see, that's quite dense lather that's just coming to the fore. Drop some more water in. I was going to use this brush for my face shave as well, but I'm going to use one of my crown jewels, crown jewels of the den, for that, as it sits proudly dead centre in the den. My Envy Shave Avalone brush, which I think in looks just beats this handle, 
just in terms of the knot, totally different experience. This one's obviously the synthetic and the MV shade brush, and I've got a high quality badger hair knot in this one. Now, talking about hand tied knots and quality badger brushes and things, I do watch pretty much every video that Rod Shaves puts out. Now, I'm by no means life of the party, you know, my content probably isn't this. No probably is about it. It's not the best edit, not the best content, but look, it's a shaving channel. It doesn't need to be amazing quality edits and things. Certainly by no means up to con over at the stray whiskers editing quality. Nowhere near it. In fact, there is none really. But I do watch all of his videos. And mainly because they're short, they're to the point. I take the ratings from the soaps with a pinch of salt. Because some of the stuff he rates just doesn't make anyone, well, in terms of being a top tier stuff, some of it doesn't really make that level for me. It's below some of the stuff that I rate as top tier and that's why it's a subjective nature. But everything I use gets, I like to think, an honest review. Especially soaps. But to be fair, there's not really a bad soap on the market now. Everyone's soaps are at a standard where they give you a great shave. I wouldn't say they all give a great post shave, which is quite important. But if you're going to use a post shave product like I do 99% of the time, it's sort of irrelevant, it doesn't really matter. Right, I'm going to stick with that, it doesn't need any more work. You can see the quality of the ladder. Lovely sheen density. It's not very voluminous on my head, I could work that and add more water in, no problem at all. But back to Rudd's, using the leaf razor again. Why not? It's phenomenal. Straight against the grain, two or three days growth. With, I think this is the third or fourth use on these Gillette Super Thins made in Thailand. And I've been very impressed with these blades in this razor. They're very sharp, and obviously they are quite a thin blade. But I think the thing that's impressing me more is the longevity of them. See, you can see the hair come through there. Just does a cracking job. Yeah, I watched them use a, a brush recently. I can't remember <coughs> the name of it, and I know someone down below will pop it there because, like me, I do a bit of research and I watch videos and then I go, oh, shit, it was that, and then you put the answer. So, someone will likely put it down there. If they don't, we'll probably never know unless you go watch it because I'm dreadful at putting in information at the moment. I always have been, I should be better at it because it's obviously important. But I'm quite swifty with reply to comments, so people got questions about where to buy things and where I bought it from and prices and where to get them. I'm more than happy to go and do that research and find out for you and help out. While I still can, as my channel grows ever so slightly each day and month and year, it becomes more difficult to get back to everyone, it really does. I, feel, I sort of feel for you, Ken Surfs and Paul H. I don't feel for them because you bring it on yourself by creating a good channel or creating content that people actually come and watch and comment on. But you get so many comments and when you go there and you look and you've got sort of 100 plus comments, it takes a long time to get through them. This is really highlighting. I'm just going to scoop a bit of this ladder out of the water just to show you. It's got a little bit of hair on it, obviously, which isn't the nicest thing you look at. Can I get it? But you can see how I'm just going to let it dry, but there's a lot here. It's disgusting to look at, but the actual ladder quality. See how dense that is and how creamy it is. It's just top, top soap. And this isn't even his latest base. He did message me back on Instagram. I commented on it saying about the scent of the soap that I love it. And he said you have to try the new base, whatever it was called, I can't remember. It had a funny name. Aeon? No, no, that's not nothing. That's someone else, is it?
and as per usual at the moment there's no there's no incomings into the den just now i've got one soap coming in from the swedish witch i don't know when that'll get you from sarah lindstrom the, the fat variant that she does the the lanolin base which from what i've been told and what i've heard performs better than mitchell's wool fat but with all the same sort of idea scent and things i think i don't know never used it never smelled it i don't know what the scent is on it but apparently it's a, a top quality i think it's a tapple base and lanolin base so Out the sink. Yeah, back to my story. I keep getting sidetracked. I don't know why the fuck I keep getting sidetracked. You know me. I finally got there this time. Sometimes I forget. Get to the end of the video, say cheerio, and then someone says, "What the fuck are you talking about?" Anyway, I used a brush on the channel, and it was a very expensive brush. I think it was like starts at 430 US dollars for the handle and the knot. Now it was grey. I'm trying to think what the brush was called. I had it in my head there, it was there and then it went. It's a grey handle, it looked boring. There's nothing flash about it. The knot did look nice. And Rudds did say that it was a very nice knot. And I've got to take into consideration that he's used pretty much all the best of the best. I've used one declaration grooming knot, which I don't remember what, what variant it was, but it was a 33mm monster. It's a nice knot, but nowhere near as good as the Simpson, the Morrison, Fondren, or this rhodium knot. The latest knots from Declaration Grooming might be better. But this one looked nice. It, it appeared to, to me a nice ladder. It had good density to it, not too much. I've just got to sort of just apply some more lather on, not, not a thick layer. In fact, I can't even apply a thick layer because it looks like the lather's left the brush. The ladder has left the building. Look at that. That's very, very rarely. Yeah, I get that, but I didn't load very long. It's a big knot. You've got to load enough enough soap into the knot. I don't really need the soap on my head. I'm just doing it to use the brush because I love the brush. Or the knot, should I say? So I'm just this will just give me enough. This will give me enough coat. You can see it there. It's not great, but it's there. Yeah, so I used that, and it's like four hundred odd bucks, and I'm like shit. So if you buy that damn raw brush, like this one, I think the handle will set you back between sixty and eighty American dollars. The knot from Surjan, this one's a 28 mil, will set you back $160 in Australia, in Australian dollars, 160 bucks for a 28 mil, delivered to your door in Australia. There's no favours, you know, I, I'm not, I didn't pay less than that, being a channel or anything else that I get from Surjan will be, will be full price and that's absolutely brilliant, I, I don't mind that at all. It's a level playing field for anyone out there. I know he's, he's just created a new knot as well, which he's going to send over to me to test out. And then it'll be on its way to someone else or back to himself to with a final outcome on it. But this sounds like an interesting one. It's, it's going to be a sore. I think it's a silver tip. So it will be treated on the ends, I think. But it's going to be a finer here. So it's not going to have the same thickness of hair that's in this brush. So I don't know how that's going to work. I don't know how it's going to feel. And like the search ant, I'm quite excited about it. He said it was a challenge to, to create the knot. Because the hairs are so fine, he wasn't able to get the glue round about the, the knot to be thick enough. This soap's incredible. They all are. I'm not. I'm at a point now where reviewing the soap bases is just a waste of time almost. It's all about scent now for me because I know every soap I pull out of my den, and I've got quite a few brands now. Even the, the vintage stuff, you know, the not vintage but Mitchell's Wool Fat, which is an old base, and then you've got Tabac, which is an old base. I just know the performance is going to be great. It's like most people don't come to these channels for performance reviews anymore. You know, the soap, soap levels just went through the roof in the last sort of two years, two or three years, it really has. It was refreshing to get Mitchell's Wool Fat and find that there is a soap with a formula that's over a hundred years old. 
that competes with and beats a lot of the, the new artisan stuff for me. Just let's just sink it again. The hot water is really hot today. I haven't soaked my brush in it, but it's really hot. Seriously, what a shave. I mean, it's the leaf razor is the ultimate head shaving tool, hands down, without a doubt. It's all metal construction. They're very close to being a fully environmentally friendly and eco friendly company in terms of cardboard packaging, metal razors using DE blades, you know, all that sort of thing. They're so close. Now, obviously, they had the plastic twig razor, which isn't. I'm just going to pop a little bit of water on top of the soap. Let that soak from my face shave again. So, it's definitely a razor if you're a head shaver and you don't have one, I think you're mad. And I've said that a few times, you know, I've come across the head blade and I was the Omni shaver when, it, when I had the, the review pro prototype, it was great, it got on well with the, the actual final product, which I think upset the fellow that owned the company about. It, it was a personal thing, you know, it's, it just didn't work for me, it wasn't comfortable, it wasn't a great shave, it, it changed the geometry of the blades and it wasn't great. This for me, and so far, everyone that's had this razor, through, a, through watching my channel and purchased it, apart from one or two I think, who had, had issues, but that's been sorted now because it was actually a defect in manufacturing. Because the guys are brilliant, they'll, just, they'll send you a new razor. If you have an issue or you've got problems, message them. And that goes for everything. You know, if you get a new, a new hand tied knot from Surgeon and you get it from Declaration Grooming and it starts falling apart, something else, the issues and let them know. They'll look after you. I like to think they will. I know Surgeon will. Simpson won't, unless it's under warranty. And even then, they probably still whinge about it. But message these guys. They need to know you get a razor and there's a, a mark on it, something not that you know. You spend two hundred dollars on a calf razor. They're going to look after you, I can assure you. Carve has got one of the best sort of, one of the best for that, they're going to look after you. Just giving the handle a good clean, giving the knot a good dry. Yeah, there's hardly any soap in the base of it. I didn't really probably have enough soap in the beginning. I think if I'd worked it a little bit longer and put a little bit more water through it, look at that, that knot's just phenomenal. I've got the shakes today, I need another coffee. Right, grooming department, basic, made in California. It does say on here, discontinued use of irritation occurs. That's the same with all these products. But luckily, I've never had an, an issue with this. Now the soap, it's reasonably hard, it's gonna last you a while. It's great quality soap. The brush, as you've just seen, is my Dan Rob 28 millimeter rhodium knot. It is just a stunning brush. That knot is beautiful and dense, lovely tips. It's now got that nice wood scent from the, the basic soap. The razor, honestly, there's not much I can say about this razor. Now, it's, it's hands down the best head shaving razor I've ever used. It's so comfortable. I can use it daily without any issues. You know, it's like five days in a row I shaved with it recently and I had maybe one or two little weepers, but other than that, nothing. And it gives me perfect, and I'm talking about per. He's going. Right, I'll see you later, be careful. It gives me perfect results, honestly, like, I mean, that's a perfect BBS head shave. Now, granted, whenever I put this on after my face shave, my little wood from Royal Grooming, I generally feel a little bit, I might get a bit of hair that I missed because of post shave and the soap and everything, and initially, I don't feel any hair. So sometimes I feel a little bit, and all I do is I whip out this bad boy, dry, and just lightly touch it up and it's done. And I've got it's completely finished, but no irritation, no cuts, no weepers, no blood, and it's just brilliant. I can't say anything more about it. I can't praise it anymore. This leaf razor is really excellent. It's not the cheapest razor. I think about hundred and about hundred dollars, hundred and twenty bucks, US. But it's like everything. If you buy something that's that's high quality, it's well built, well engineered, it's going to last. And these guys warranty and, and looking after you in terms of that sort of thing. They're brilliant, they're awesome to work with. They get back to you very quickly, even though they're, they'll probably be a reasonably big company now. I reckon they'll be starting to get in the door. This, for me, 
should be in supermarkets, it should be everywhere. Yes, it's expensive. Maybe not supermarkets, but maybe niche shaving places, you know, a shaver shop in, the, in Australia, places like that, where people actually go and see and go, oh, it's a bit expensive, but it's maybe worth giving it a go. You, honestly, you could give a 30-day back, money-back guarantee with this razor, and it'll never, you'll very rarely get one sent back to you. It, it's that good. It really is. And that's probably something they should really look at, because I couldn't. I would never send this back. It shaves better than anything. It uses double-edged blades, which are very inexpensive. I've got four or five shaves out of this. Well, three half DE blades at the moment. It's just superb. And other than that, I'm done. I'm heading on to the face shave. Stay safe, drive safe. Don't drink and drive. And I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.